am I live? Is this working? Fuck, is this working? Is this... Okay. New game. I have choices. Choices. Day or night? Guess it's time to face the cupcakes. Cupcakes, huh? I have questions. That's really cool. I like that. There you are! I was getting worried! Worried that I chickened out? No! I know you're not afraid of anything. I mean, what's to fear? This is a great honor. Right! Wait, I can't tell if you're being serious. Well, there is one part that I'm really afraid of. What's that? I'm afraid that you won't get any food because I'm gonna beat you to the Maiden's Feast. Dream on! This is really pretty. Come on, Pokey! Ah, sugar bunting. Where the sweetness is baked right in. No time to go to town now. Get in the house. Bella, everybody's waiting! Hey, Thungy. How you doing? Hello? Dark. Creepy. Surprise! Whoa. Yay! There is my Valoria. Oh, look at my pretty girl. I can't believe. I just can't believe. We're very proud of you. I think that's what your mother is trying to say. Oh, she's not even dressed yet? Can we do that after cake? Come on, cake first! All right, but come on. Let's get this good time over with. Oh, yes, cake. Now, where did I put that knife? Nobody touches that cake until I find the ceremonial knife. Ugh. Hmm. So I'm looking for the knife. I assume. Maybe the knife is under this towel. <laughs> Never gonna find it. Dad, I hope you're not hiding that knife for your own good. <laughs> Crouchy old man. I think that's supposed to look like Magchatra, my handsome date to the prom. Where would I? Mom, I was just wondering, what if we... 
fought the monster instead of feeding it. That's my girl. Now that's beast ender blood talking. Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <laughs> I am doing. I know, right? Mm -hmm. So handsome. Um, I'm doing well. It's a nice afternoon. Playing some games. Grandpa Beastender? Huh. Do you know where Mom's knife is? <laughs> Wouldn't tell you if I did. I'm not doing one thing to help for this shame feast. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this Maiden's Feast either, to tell you the truth. Then fight it, girl! Stand up for yourself! I hope you're not filling that girl's head with nonsense, Brahma. <laughs> Why do you hate the Maiden's Feast, Grandpa? Because this used to be a town of warriors. It's a travesty, Bella. Why'd we stop being warriors? Levina Clench and her ilk said there was too much bloodshed, pushed for appeasement. So we went soft, became a town of bakers. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, um, yes. I'd better go find that knife. Don't you dare. I hid it for a reason. You did what? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Grandpa Beastender? Huh? I'd better go find that knife. Oh, he hit the knife. Okay. No, no, where? Hmm. What's this? One of my mom's special dish towels, and it's still dry. Okay. Where would I? Okay. Oh, I remember I had it. And then... I mean, we could talk to the Moore family. Oh, so frustrating. Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. Did I get in the kitchen? No. Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? I do, but your mom brought out a special one she wants to use. She wants everything to be perfect on your special day. Know where Mom's knife is, Rocky? If I did, we'd all be eating cake right now! Hmm... This stupid knife is ruining my... I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? thing. Lavina? What is it, girl? Any idea where Mom's knife is? We're late. <laughs> if I knew I would have cut that cake, Sneaky shut it bunny. down your gullets, and had us out the door already. Oh. Can I ask you about the Maiden's Feast? Weren't you paying attention in maiden training? Her hat has bread on it, and that's amazing. How many of these feasts have you organized? Let's see. A new Grand Mog appears every 14 years, and I'd have seen six of them, so hey! Are you trying to get my age out of me? I'll never tell. What is Mog Chathra? The latest in a long, distinguished line of Grand Mogs to visit our land. Distinguished? Well, anything that lives that long becomes distinguished. I mean, look at me! <laughs> Where do creatures like Mog Chathra come from? They come from beyond the Plague Dam. I want to go beyond the plague dam someday. It's forbidden! But maybe you'll be lucky enough to be taken there soon in Mog Chathra's stomach. What? 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 How much do we know about these Grand Mogs? Stomach! The Grand Mogs have visited our pleasant. lands for as I'm long as anyone that. can remember. They hide in the wilderness for years, and then they come to feed. After feeding, they return to their land and, it is imagined, breed. You actually imagine that? Eh. <laughs> I love the dirty old lady trope. 
I just love Why it. Why was I chosen? In every town visited by a grand mog, the villagers vote for the maidens who represent their town's best qualities. So in other words, beats me. Mog Chathra attacks other towns? Of course. Maryloft just had their maiden's feast yesterday. That's how we know he's coming here next. They're a pretty tough act to follow. Amazing feather work. Okay. I think I know all I need to know about the maiden's feast. <laughs> all you need to know is how to look pretty in your dress. We'll take care of the rest. So, why don't we just fight Mog Chathra? Silence! Talk like that could ruin the Maiden's Feast. If you destroy the feast, Mog Chathra will destroy this village, including your family. Is that what you want? No. Oh, that got dark. My grandpa doesn't look too happy about this feast. Your grandpa is just stuck in the ways of old. Your grandma was the same way. Bless her soul. Not all of the town elders have stayed as hip and with it as I have. I'd better go look for that knife. And hurry. If we're late, you won't be selected and your family will be shamed. I hope that dress isn't to scale. How would I walk in that thing? I don't even know. Apparently, there's this big-ass monster that's just gonna... No backing out now. Too many people would see me. Hey, don't go get dressed yet. I don't want you getting cake on your good outfit. Oh, a little frosting never hurt a maiden's feast gown. Where would I? I remember I had it. And then... So, I'm dumb. Is there something I'm missing okay. about... Where to look for this knife? Did I leave it in the kitchen? No. I feel dumb. I Don't feel excruciatingly dumb. Let's go talk to him. He hid it somewhere. Grandpa Beastender? Knife. <laughs> hey Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, yes. I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> think, Morelia, think. It's just got to be. I think that's supposed to look like Mog Chathra, my handsome date to the prom. The. I think this is the tablecloth down here. I feel pretty confident. In the hat. Lavina? What is it, girl? No. Is it in the fire? No. Not in there. See, like, <laughs> this is why I'm always just scared to play these games, is because. Like, the first couple of levels are just no, rough no until way. I figure it out. Mom, I was just wondering, what if we fought the monster instead of feeding it? That's my girl! Now that's beast ender blood talking! Please, my loves, don't make this any harder than it already is. <laughs> yeah, everything's a baked good. Everything. I remember I had it, and then... I feel so dumb. This is so frustrating. I feel like it's gonna stare me in the face, and then when I find it, I'm gonna be pissed. Did I leave it in the kitchen? No. Rook is a giant cookie. Not until I find that knife, young lady. She already caught me using my fingers. <laughs> Eyes in the back of her head, that woman. 
Think, Morelia, think. Oh, this is so frustrating. I don't even know. Like, it's just going to be. Is it up here? Oh, no luck. Like, I must be losing my mind. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. I too must be losing my mind. <sighs> Hey, Anster. I'm being dumb. my mom's special dish towels and it's still dry need a towel grandpa why do I look like some old drooling invalid to you <laughs> oh that's smart so take a cupcake kitchen? No. don't touch the red ones Mom made those just for oh. me. You're going to eat all ah, of those? See, this I've is why we keep them in. That explains a lot. Answer, this is Broken Age. It's a point and click oh, made by life? Double Fine. And there's a sale going on, and I got I picked it up for like six bucks. Mm -hmm. And I've always wanted to play it because I've heard it's beautiful. It's and I agree. Oh, it's gorgeous. For me? For you, Grandpa. Don't mind if I do. It's just going to be. Grandpa Beastender? Eh. Hey, Gramps, want a cupcake? Um, yes. I'd better go find that knife. <laughs> Okay, so I need to not pick that answer when I give the old man a cupcake. Ah, uh, why not? I agree. I could go for a for cupcake. Me? No, Mom says you can't have any. I'm just showing it to you. Ah, I didn't want it anyway. For me? Split it with you? Deal. Yeah, On second nice. thought, you can have the whole thing. Suit yourself. Now, where did I put that thing? What thing? Uh, nothing. Uh, I didn't say anything. Okay. Thank you, Thangin. Jesus. Did I leave it in the kitchen? No. All right, time to serve this girl up. But first, can I ask just one more time? Honey, why don't we just kill Mog Chothra? <laughs> <laughs> here, here! <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, we're going to miss your sense of humor. Oh, this is dark. Majestic to behold. Awe-inspiring. Powerful. Mysterious. But Mog Chothra is more than that. Merciful and generous. I did find the name. Mog Chopra keeps our town safe. All he asks is may he pick some of our beautiful flowers as he Up passes. Up for grabs. Please come, Mog Chopra, and make your selections. Welcome to the Maiden's Feast. What? Show him what you're made of, fella. I know he'll pick you. This can't be right. It's hard to tell where the dress ends and the cake starts. <laughs> Holy shit! Any Hey, what do you say we break out of here? Trying to get us all to quit so you'll win the feast, huh? Well, it's not gonna work. Yeah, yeah, Duncan, this is a sacrifice. 
making me hungry. I'm trying to make Mog Chathra hungry. These girls have it all backwards. Think it's attractive to starve themselves. Want to trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? Need a towel? Nope. They taught us to eat daintily in finishing school. I'm warning you, buzzard! I will pluck you alive if you come near my food again! Hmm. How about the satisfaction of helping out a fellow maiden? Hmm. Sounds good, but not half as satisfying as this drumstick. Never mind. Right? I I was excited and just wanted to say good luck. This is what oh, this is what we have. This is what's happening. No more ugliness, girls. More chocolate response. Hey, I've got a plan. I already have a plan, thanks. Attract Mog Chopra with my slender frame and be remembered forever as a hero. Well, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. Sorry, the beauty is nothing without a little. When the monster gets close, you can use your candles to burn its eyes. Don't distract me. I think I've got a chance to win this. Hey, does that costume have any thorns we can use as weapons? It does, but they're made out of chocolate. Regardless, I accept my noble burden, not with apprehension, but with joy. I give my life so that no harm comes to our village. No, I give my life. No, me! Sheesh. What the balls is this? There's just a, a big old bad guy that comes apparently and demands the sacrifice of maidens to not kill everyone. No, he's so majestic. What? What? Here I am, merciful King Mog Chopra, over here! No! This way, Great One! I am the one you've come so far to find! Over here! I am in blue for you! See? He's drawn to the flame! Our like frame dropping? Moth. What? No way! He's coming my direction! Please, don't be hasty in your decision, my lord! Oh yes, take your time, look over all your options, and then after some careful consideration... Uh... <gasps> what the fuck? Something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? How about the slimming corset? Why would I want to hide my best assets from Mock Chata? He'll be looking for a full size meal after his long trip. Never mind. Ugh. Just wanted to say good luck. Bye. He's obviously made his decision. Hey, Looper, can I get a lift out of here? Can I borrow that bottle one more time? Keep it. Thanks. I don't need it where I'm going.
This is gruesome. Let me know if it's like unwatchable because frames are dropping. First type person, but wanna trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Hmm. What do you got? How about something bubbly to wash it down? Well thanks! Don't mind if I ah! Look at me! I'm soaked! Here? Wanna trade something for a bite of that drumstick? Now I have a towel. What do you got? I've got a towel here if you throw me that drumstick. You have a towel? Why didn't you say so? Oh. Oh. <laughs> How long have you been standing there? This is so gross. Are you part vulture or something? How can you think about food here, birdie? Oh, come on! So close. It's hard to tell where the dress ends and the cake starts. Here, birdie! Oh, come on! It's so close. Here, birdie! Oh, come on! So close. Hard to tell where the dress ends and the cake starts. So. Oh, I still have the knife. I don't want to stab that bird. I still need her to get out of here. Oh, yeah. And also, I'd lose my knife. Okay. Just a little bit harder. Come on, girl. Give it all you've got. Hey, how about we split this cupcake? You can have the bottom half. Get back here, you crazy brat! That's my girl! Oh my goodness. goodness. Isn't the music so awesome, though? crap they literally bake their women into cakes Problem. What's yours? I am Walt Earl. Walter? Walt Earl. With an apostrophe. 
We admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm ch- Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. Hmm. Looks like there's... There's some ant, like, hmm. What do I do? Do I, do I tell them that I escaped? Or do I not? Hmm. Let's just say that sugar bunting is in trouble and leave it at that. Uh-oh. What, Pops? Sounds like something happened at their Maiden's Feast. Not all communities are as blessed as we are here, Chit. Hopefully the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Ah, good call. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes. It's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Who's Jessie? That big blue oligal you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Hmm, poor Jessie. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the preener code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty. And it wouldn't be the first time that old fell through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Loose beaks cause leaks. Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little dense, mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a I'm brilliant jealous. philosopher, I spiritualist. And buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of light. Oh, so this is a cult. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, chit. Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. Don't the birds tend the nest? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers left to their own devices. They'll lay too many eggs, or get too fat, and then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't blow, stay afloat. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? Volume! No, son. Oh, I want to Try chance. again. Jeez, um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling, Chit. Sorry, Pop. No freestyling. Careful. Hey, Python. Oh. That sucks. I told you to be careful. It's okay. 
It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> so, what's your name? Carl? Carl? No. Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? My husband and son? Uh, what did they do this time? Oh, my lord. Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager. Off their head in the cloud somewhere. You know what I mean. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase, honestly. I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did. Until you came along. Hmm. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no. Shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about them. Wait, I know this. Area. Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Hey, can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. No, oh, my work. Okay, so the knife... We had a knife. Where did our knife go? I'm not sure. I'm gonna go explore. We'll see if I remember. So many birds. Oh! Okay. What's your name? Hey, what's up? <sighs> Nothing. What did you say your name was? McGee. It's Maggie, but without the A. My dad's idea. Don't you mind that your dad took the A out of your name? Well, yeah, but my dad said, hey, losing an A is better than losing an I. <laughs> oh, Scruffin. Your dad's pretty creepy. He wasn't before he joined this cult. Oh, whoops, did I say that too loud? Your dad's in a cult? Uh, he's just taking this light bird worship a little too far. But it's okay. At least it got him out of his line dancing phase. Ugh. What are you doing exactly? I'm taking care of these eggs. If it weren't for me, they'd uh, get dusty or something. Lightbeard's really serious about this lightness thing, isn't he? Oh yeah. People say he only eats feathers. Ick, but it's not true. Good. He only licks them. Gah. Ugh, gross. Hey, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those are egg substitutes. We make them for the older senile gulls who forget they don't have eggs. Hey, nice cloud shoes. Duh, my mom made them for me. All the other kids have cool name brand cloud shoes, but I get homemade. Oh, but don't tell her I said that. I know, there's like cults and human sacrifices and... How do you get to the eggs in the high nests? Oh, because I'm so short, you mean? No, I... Uh... I'm just messing with you. I have a ladder. <laughs> hey, can I borrow your ladder? Mm, okay. Huh, that's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise you, okay? True. Okay, so now I have a ladder. Why are they made of gold? It's the heaviest stuff we have. 
We want them to be heavy, so the gulls can't carry them off and lose them. Hey, is there any way off this cloud? Think I'd be here if there were? We used to have a cool feather vader that went straight down to the forest below. But Harmony took it out. Why'd they take out the feather vader? Harmony decided that nobody had any reason to leave. Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Okay, so I have a ladder. Can't get up there. Oh, it just extends. Hey, knock it off. Those hooks are an important safety feature. Sheesh. That was rude. Uh-oh. It sinks without the hooks. Jerk bird, this is all your fault. Jerk bird. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna that's gonna be an insult. Jerk bird. Hi, birdie. I don't have the special shoes yet. I'm lost. Those don't look like Jesse's. Better leave them alone. Okay. I know birds are assholes. It's definitely an insult I don't take lightly. Good to see you again. Those don't look like Jesse's. Better leave them alone. So I think I have to find something to give to that bird so that it doesn't... ...be a bitch. Where did I come from, stream? I don't understand. Where's the knife? Where is it? Top right. <laughs> Top right. Top right. I don't see anything in top right. <laughs> I think Chevin's having a seizure. Back at where the kid is. Oh, okay. This so kid? what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? Top right. I don't... Well, I'll leave you alone. Okay. Oh, I see it now. Jesus. <laughs> oh. It's my mom's special ceremonial knife. Oh, my God. Poor Jevin. Okay, now I don't remember where... <laughs> uh. You 
dudes want to help me kill Mom Chafra? Uh, we're we're on the we're on the we're on the right track now. Hey, can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. Oh wait, I got it. Well, I'll let you get back to yeah. Work. I figured it out. My work. Say, that's some knife. Good balance, nice heft. Ooh, and a blood gutter. No, that's for the filling. The less I know about the knife's history, the better. Here. Thanks. Uh, I know, they're big, but you'll grow into them. Trust me, you hit 40 and you're gonna be grateful for a pair of comfortable shoes like that. I can't get them to stay on my feet. Really? So what's this way? Oh, I'm gonna have to fill that with three golden eggs, aren't I? Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Hi, are you? You may call me Fathur. Oh, yes, excuse me, Father. No, Fathur. Like a light, beautiful feather. But lighter. Harmony gave me that name. It's quite an honor. I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. <sighs> Last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. Hmm. What are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. Can I go up and see Mr. Lightbeard? All are welcome on Brother Lightbeard's cloud after they make an offering. Ah. Uh. So, you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy? Hey, there's no call for personal insults. Hmm, what kind of offering? It's not the object that matters, but the thought behind it. Huh, weird. Hmm. Can I just go up the ladder without making an offering? Brother Lightbeard gives you this opportunity to lighten your load for your benefit, not his. Uh-huh. Do you know where Gus went? He's got an egg I need. That one is struggling with the concept of lightness. He is yet to give up even a single letter in his name. He's worried people will think his name is Gas. I'll let you get back to work. May the wind be under your feet. Hmm. I think I have to go trade shoes with the... With whoever... Um, no. I think we're going that way. So many fucking birds! So what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? Maybe I should just jump. Tried it. No good. Whoops, the birdie guards catch you and bring you back. What you need is a ladder. But it would have to be much taller than mine. Hey, what kind of uh. bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. Bye forever. Okay, so that didn't have... that didn't Good do what birdie. I wanted it to do. have to find something to make that bird happy. Let's go down. That's the direction we want to go, right? <gasps> oh dear, God in heaven! This is such a dark... Dark game. How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. 
I really like your outfit. Yeah, I liked it too. Not good enough though, apparently. And on top of that, the shoes were too tight. Hmm. What are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the Maiden's Feast. You can't tell? Jeez, it's worse than I thought. Oh, that makes sense. Did you say something about shoes? Yeah, why? You need some? Take these. I don't need any. I'm gonna sit here forever. Kind of shabby looking for a maiden's feast. Hey, I can't help the way I look. No, I mean the broken bird cages and feathers. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because the feast is over. If the feast is over, what are you doing here? Rub it in, why don't you? I'm still here because I didn't get picked, okay? Look on the bright side. You didn't get eaten by a monster. I'd rather do that than face my family right now. Who am I kidding? They've probably already jumped off a cloud in shame by now. I was in a Maiden's Feast too. Just today, in fact. Oh, really? You didn't get picked either? Hmm, what do I say, stream? Do I tell her that she got picked? Or do I just make friends? Uh, make friends? Yeah, I didn't get picked either. Probably because of that shabby dress. Hey. Sorry. I only said that because I'm sad. And because it's all torn up and stuff. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. I picked option B. I picked option B. Need help? Uh, cleaning up? Why bother? Well, it's just kind of a mess down here. So am I. That's why I like it. So, uh, how's the view up there? I don't know. All I can see is my mother's disappointed face. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. Maybe a nice pair of comfortable shoes would help? Don't need them. Nowhere to go. Yay! We have some legit shoes now. So I'm not gonna... Oh no, wait. I've been there. Hey, thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry I said you were part vulture. What happens if I do this? Hey, girl. Hey, hey, settle down. I'm going to find your missing egg for you, okay? So I have to find Sorry, the missing egg. Sorry, just passing through. Kalidoks. Man, that sign really did not do this thing justice. Wow. What are you? Oh, okay. Whoopsie bird. Huh. Okay. Adventure time. I don't understand what just happened. Can't reach that spot. Maybe I could find a low hanging branch. Those are the biggest peaches I've ever seen. Give me some fruit. Dang.
Give me some fruit. Dang. Hmm. Uh, where is everybody? Hey, listen, I can explain. I was taking Jesse's egg for a cleaning and... Hey, wait, wait, who are you? Why would Jesse's egg need cleaning anyway? Well, it, it didn't, but I needed the work credits to make up for some hygiene demerits I got last week. Mind if I just squeeze past you? Yeah, that's a good idea. Come over here so I can grab on. No way. You're in big trouble, young man. Oh, man, don't tell Harmony, okay? He already has it in for me. Why don't you just let go? I'm 85% sure someone would catch you. I'm stuck! I'm caught on this branch and I can't reach back that far! What are you really doing down here? I was just chasing some fruit that fell off that tree and I hit a weak spot in the clouds. Well, you hang in there, kid. My underwear, it's on the branch. Can you unhook it, please? Unhook my underwear? Sorry, I'm not going anywhere near your underwear. Come here and help me! So, just to verify... Hey! Great! Now let me just climb under your shoulders! Wait a minute! And I thought I was clumsy. Derpy looking bird. Yeah, it does look painful, doesn't it? Okay, so I know where Jesse's egg is now. I was just trying to clean it. But now I gotta find. Hey, girl. Hey, hey, settle down. I'm going to find your missing egg for you, okay? Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Okay, they don't have anything else for me. Have I gone this... This way? That's... Sad girl, she gave us shoes. Okay, we've done that. Sorry everyone, my object permanence is no bueno. This way. Ah, there we go. So maybe... If I do that... Oh! Carl was right. Turns out I am grateful for these shoes. Oh! Dutchin! Big deal, bird. Like I even need hooks now. Yeah! Ah, solid as a rock. Peekaboo. Cooking with gas. Right. It's me, your worst nightmare. Hey, come back here and get your come up and on second thought, don't come back until you get some pants. <laughs> Thank you. Don't mind oh, if man, I do. This thing is heavy. Good thing I have these cloud shoes on. Oh, okay, so there's different holes that I just didn't see. See, this is why I have a stream. So they can just walk me through this. I'm pretty proud of myself for figuring out about the cloud shoes and the leather, like, I'm, I'm learning things, stream.
She can be taught. Oh no, wait, no, no, no. I wanted to go here, didn't I? I think I need to use a ladder to get up there. You do, bitch. That's why I have a ladder. Okay, wait. So this... This tree. This one. This hole. This day cannot get any worse. Oh. What? What the? Ah! Oh, fuck. Okay, well now I can just go down. Here. Yeah, fuck yeah, that cloud shoe thing was pro. I got Jesse's egg. Gonna give Jessie her egg. Boy, is this thing heavy. Oh, yeah, Jessie. Now, let me explain. I didn't take. Oh, uh, yeah, I hey, still need one more. Wasn't anything, really. What? I think the stream lags pretty long. You guys need, are going to need to be a little more specific when you're talking. Because there's a lot of birds here, Thungan. <laughs> like a metric shit ton of birds. So what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. Better not touch those. I don't want to make these giant birds angry at me. What happens if I fall through here? Yeah, I think I think crazy and old applies here. Wanna give me a lift? No? Can I climb the tree? Oh, fruit. Something about getting fruit. I think I need to use a ladder to get up there. Okay, so but if I use my ladder here, I can't use it on the tree. I feel like maybe there's just a path that I'm completely missing. Look for, I need to look for those signposts better. Hmm. Firm. And pungent. Some fruit. I 
I mean, you could, technically, but apparently that's, uh... I got the fruit. I got what I needed from here, I think. Ugh. That way to the giant fruit I did go in the tree. I was just in the tree. I will humor you, though. See? Tree. See, we're going in tree. Nothing in tree. Okay. to disturb the mother-child reunion. Okay, so that way... So you're fine. So maybe I can put... Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. It's empty. Yes. That is why I said that thing about making an offering. Whoa, careful there. That thing's heavy. I'm gonna put that there. Haven't you heard Harmony's teachings about lightness yet? A light offering. Harmony will be pleased. So that ladder needs to go down. Holy sh- oh Jesus Christ. Aren't you cold? Hi. Oh my. A fresh face rises from below. Before you ask, let me answer. Yes, you may live here in Marylock forever. Who are you? I am Harmony Lightbeard, the lifter of clouds. Hmm. Why are you up here so high? Exactly as high up from Mariloft as Mariloft is from the forest below. To show that we're all equals. I don't get it. It'll start to make sense after a few weeks of meditation, my child. Yeah, at this altitude. Actually, I just want to get off this cloud. Oh, I understand. You're quite mentally ill, aren't you? Have no fear, you've come to the right place. I really, really want to get off this cloud. Do you have any idea what would happen if people could just leave Maryloft whenever they felt like it? Maryloft would become lighter? Hmm, hadn't thought of that. But no. <sighs> I could go kill Mogchathra? What an offensive idea. No! Everyone would leave? What? No! People would become unenlightened. So because I care so much, we have the Whoop Suburdy Network to make escape. I mean... <clears throat> Unenlightenment. Impossible. Why do you have laces and a big bow on your cloud? Oh, why, well, you see, I exude such a powerful aura of lightness, it's made these clouds hyperbuoyant. If I didn't lash them together, they'd fly away into the heavens. Huh. Can you help me kill Mogchathra? Ah, what a thing to say. Did you just lay that? No, it fell out of my pile of... I mean, it must have been... Pay no attention to that. Hey, are you done with that golden egg? That's mine. I might need it someday. Uh, I mean, take it away. I need it like a blue jay needs a bowling ball. Oops! Heads up for there! Oh. 
Thanks for the help. See you later. Be light, child. Or for there. Oh, I knocked him out. Oh. So light. Light there. So we do that. I wonder what the weight limit is on that ladder. We should post a placard or something. <laughs> He's breathing. Better let him sleep. So I put the three eggs there. I'll just take them. Oh, that's the Oh, so I, if I'm carrying them and I get on the ladder. Hey, Bikesy. How you living? Broken age? I have no idea. Okay, well, I was Thanks on the ladder. The See you later. Be like child. It's six dollars on Steam right now, bikes. I want my money back. You may take back any burden you wish, but it hurts you more than anybody. I mean... Hey, Father. For third. I'll let you get back to work. Stay light. Hmm. It's relaxing for everyone but Jevin. It's beautiful, too. It truly is a gorgeous game. So I have these three eggs. How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. Um, so this background that we've we've gone through so far is um, we were in crazy cupcake land and the all the towns in this area or whatever sacrificed their young women to this evil gross monster to save the rest of them and so now we're in crazy bird land and we need to get back to Crazy Cupcake Land so we can defeat the monster. Better not touch those. I don't want to make these giant birds angry at me. It is evil. <laughs> I think bikes would make a beautiful cupcake maiden. Just saying. Best cupcake maiden. I don't know what to do now, you guys. I've been to all the places. What do they want from me? Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. I have three eggs and a peach. A light offering. Harmony will be pleased. So what if I do that? Whoa, careful there. 
That thing's heavy. Haven't you heard Harmony's teachings about lightness yet? Um, hang on. Before you get on that ladder, I need to think about this cloud's weight limit. Bombs away! Oh, I just had to redo hey, it. Go move. Bombs? Yes, they are golden eggs. So now we are escaping the crazy oh bird land. God, it's happening! They're coming! <laughs> I wish that wasn't the craziest thing that's happening. So, I got on the the ladder was attached to the platform. I put the eggs in these baskets, which overdid the weight limit, and that's how apparently we took the ladder down, even though I think we just fell on the ladder, didn't really walk down the ladder. The physics of it's really, really messy. Hey, listen, but... I'm sorry. I didn't know you had feelings, okay? Um, okay. I forgive you. Oh, really? Great! Hey. <laughs> Who are you? My name's Bella. What's yours? I'm Curtis. Sorry, I thought you were a tree. Have you always talked to trees, Curtis? No. They only started talking recently. How can I cut down trees when they're screaming at me? What are they screaming at you? All kinds of really personal insults, like really over the line type stuff. It's been rough. But the worst part is not having any wood to build stuff with. Maybe you shouldn't cut down uh, trees then. Wood. But I'm a woodworker. If I can't cut down trees, where will I get my wood? Hmm. So you're a woodworker. Could you make me something? Like what? Something practical, but unique. I've got just the thing. How about a nice three-legged stool? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I haven't done a stool in so long. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. <laughs> Listen, about that big mess upstairs. Oh, did another tree fall on my roof? Uh, yeah, that's it. A tree fell on your roof. That's cool. I needed a little fresh air in here anyway. Been kind of cooped up for too long, you know? Catch you later, Curtis. Beware the trees. Beware the trees. Beware the trees. Don't tell the trees I'm in here, okay? And when you hit the main trail, Head east. There is an extremely territorial snake in the other direction. Gotcha. Head east. How the fuck do I know where east is? Wait. East? Or was it west? Oh, well, we're nah. fucked. Doesn't matter. Oh, God. This game is so pretty. It's criminal. This guy hasn't gotten mail in a while. Okay, which one of you trees has been bugging Curtis? Hmm. They don't seem too chatty to me. Yes, Mr. Bates. Oh, the trees are talking. I do work for MySpace. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. It's trying to say something, but doesn't have a mouth. Okay. Yeah, in real Hello, life. Oh, shell mound. Looks like Mob Chatra hasn't gotten here yet. Wait for the tide. Don't make me come up there. Wait for the 
for the tide. Excuse me, uh, Mayor? What? Mayor? Why did you say Impling? That? Is that Impling? Because you should be a mayor. Young lady, I like the way you think. But alas, I am merely Maiden's Feast Marshal Jr. I knew I recognized his voice. I knew I recognized these voices. I thought I was crazy. So you're running for mayor? Impling, I haven't talked to you in so My long. Probably almost a year. Castles built too close to an angry sea. I had hopes, child, but this construction debacle under my marshalship has washed them all away. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? It looks terrible on you. It might cost you the election. Please, whom am I to trust? My highly paid stylist? Or a girl wearing half a dress? I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it anyway. When is Mark Chakra supposed to get here? Any minute! So much to do! Hmm... Did you say there might not be a Maiden's Feast? The sea? She is angry this day. I'm trying to build the offering arena, but the waves keep washing it away! There has to be a Maiden's Feast. I need to kill Mog Chathra. Yes, yes, we all want to fill Mog Chakra, but when he comes here and sees no offering arena, he might pass us by, or worse. Hey, about your bucket oh, I misclicked. Hat. I didn't want what? to click that. What about it? Can I please have it? I like your manners, but I like my hat more. Why do you build the offering arena so close to the ocean? Uh, because that's where the sand is. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. Hmm. Can you hear me up there? Let's talk to these offerings. Hi. You maidens getting ready for the maidens feast? Nice costumes. Thanks. Our dad made them. They're the best fishermen in the village, so they're pretty good at tying lures. We had to use every hook in town, but it was worth it. Isn't somebody gonna miss those hooks? My Not bad. Just they're gonna miss us. You're gonna make me cry, girl. Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a proprietary luring compound known as Beast Hooker. It's irresistible to Mogs. Hey, can I have some of your Beast Hooker? That's better. But no, you can't. <laughs> Sorry. It's her secret sauce. Secret sauce. <laughs> I want to be in the Maiden's Beast. Of course you do, poor thing. But shell maidens are chosen only after a long period of qualifying events. Also, our dads are pretty powerful. Also, can I tell you something? Just as a friend. Oh my god, yes, just as a friend. You just don't smell right, girl. Oh, I'd want a friend to tell me that. How about just one little squirt? Sorry. If I'm not gonna give any to my best friend, Drusilla, I'm certainly not gonna give any to you. I said I don't want any. I know. I don't use performance enhancers. All the women are gonna be dead. See you maidens later. Ciao! Watch out for the crosswind. Okay, continuing. <laughs> Can someone quote that, please? You don't smell right, girl. <laughs> Can we just... A sighted stranger approaches. Not 
so fast. Darn. All out of holy tear gas. Use the staff. Oh, yeah. Halt. The dead eye god sees no one. Who are you two? I am Dead Eye Dawn, and this is Dead Eye Courtney. Hi. What is this place? The Dead Eye Pyramid. Tomb of the Dead Eye God. <laughs> As if you didn't know. As if you didn't know. Who's the Dead Eye God? The Messiah from the sky. Bringer of miracle objects. Someday he will rise to return our sight and begin the Battle of Volgantol. Hmm. What's the Battle of Volgantol? The final battle between humans and mobs. The end of our entire age. Hmm. Sounds promising. <sighs> Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Hmm. Because you guys are guarding it, so it must be cool. Oh, it is. Extremely cool. But no one enters the oh, I know who this, pyramid. I know who this voice actress no is. One. Well, unless... What? Well, from Bob's Burgers. If she could solve the riddle of Yorn. Oh, yeah. If she could solve that, then she'd definitely be worthy. Shh. No problem. Hmm. Um, could you remind me how the riddle of Yorn goes one more time? You always take us down when we are in our prime. Devour your sweet rewards, yet I'll return in time. A child of mine will rise out of his rotten bed, up from a hidden pit long after I am dead. Whoa. Yeah. Bring us a solution, and you may enter the pyramid. Hmm. Did you say you lost your sight? Yes, that happens when you blind yourself. Oh. If the dead eye god has no need for sight, then neither do we. Huh. Did your god bring any miracle objects that were like weapons? The kind that could take down a giant monster before it destroyed your home village? Our god had such power and more. Probably. I mean, really. We don't even know what half the stuff in there does. Hey, can I get you guys something? Like what? <laughs> oh. The delay is too much. Oh, uh, we need Some more, more holy, holy tear, tear gas? gas. Oh yeah, here. Just fill that up for me if you could. Thanks. Oh, give them the peach. Can I go inside? You wish to invade our holiest of shrines? Why? Uh, I don't know. It just looks cool. I wonder if I can get it back does? to the dialogue. We wouldn't know. We're blind. Oh, sorry. But no one enters the Dead Eye Pyramid. No <laughs> one. Well, unless. What? Well, if she could solve the riddle of yours. Okay. Bye, Fred. Bye. Do I have another way of going?
Let's cut this ribbon already. You tell them, non-maiden. The ribbon is there for your protection. The arena is still under construction. Hmm. My mayoral race is riding on this. No, in the village oh, that's of lives. Pleasant. No, no, not like that. Okay, he does it. Okay. Okay, now I see why the trees were freaking him out. Um, I sure. feel like I should hear what it has to say first. It's trying to say something, but doesn't have a mouth. How do I give it a mouth? I don't have a knife! What knife? What what do I use to stab it? Bikes? Oh, what? I can go back to crazy birdland? Girl, you must got some quads. I just tried. This looks like a fountain, but it's flat. Much lighter that way. Get the knife back. Why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. Okay. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. We should tell her that there's a way down now. How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. Well, I'll leave you alone. Fine. So what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? Well, I'll leave you alone. Okay, maybe there isn't anything back here. I kind of thought that, like, if they were going to give us a way back, that there'd be something important, but I guess not. Help me kill Magchatra? Sorry, conscientious objector. But I'm not using my axe. You're welcome to it. Ooh, think I could kill Magchatra ah. with that? Oh, well, <laughs> no. I really don't think anything could kill Magchatra. Do you know what rises from a rotten bed? No, but it sounds like one of those fruity riddles my ex-girlfriend Becky was into. Man, I do not miss her. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, J Snicks. Catch you later, Curtis. Okay, I'm hurrying. Christ, I'm a stick. By using the sax? Not until those trees stop talking. Okay then. All right, got an axe. I'm going. I'm going. I'm go. I'm clicking. This is me clicking. Fruity riddle, Jesus Christ. Oh, never change. Alright. So I'm. <laughs> I 
I have a feeling I might regret this. Oh, oh, murderer! Axe-wielding psychopath right here! Shh, shh, shh. You'll wake up the other trees. She's got an axe! Run! She's a murderer! Okay, look. I'm getting rid of the axe, okay? Just stop screaming, please! Ow! My trunk! I'm losing sap! Murderer! Why are you so upset? I just can't stand by in silence while you murderous humans mutilate my brethren! It makes me sick! You got a little something in the corner of your mouth. Oh, that's just a little sap. I'm not ashamed. It's thick and natural <laughs> and I'm full of it. Yeah, you are. Uh... Hey, can I have some of your sap? You're just like the rest of them. Want to bleed us dry, steal all our thick, luscious, and incredibly useful fluids. You humans make me want to throw up. But I won't do it, because I refuse to give you the pleasure of my sap. I'm here on behalf of Curtis, the lumberjack. That homicidal psychopath? I once saw him hack an old lady to death. Wow. Really? Yes. A 300-year-old spruce, minding her own branches, then he Mining comes along. Branches. And the next time I see her, she's a... Oh, God, if I say it, I think I might be sick. <laughs> say it. What did Curtis do to the old spruce? He... He butchered her. Turned her into a... A stool. Oh, oh God. I think I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. I've never seen a talking tree before. Well, I've seen plenty of axe-wielding murderous humans, so get lost. Are you magic? Can you help me kill Magchatra? Is that all you humans <laughs> think about? Killing? You all make me want to puke. Please don't scream anymore. You can't silence me! I'm going to wake up this whole forest! I'll let you get back to your screen. Social justice yeah. warrior Please leave tree. Before I vomit, you foul ruthless stump. I wonder if social justice warrior trees have tumblers. What would be the tumbler equivalent? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna go give the peach to the crazy bitches because that's what my stream wants me to do. And I don't wanna fail them. Can't disappoint the masses. Halt! Are the dead eye gone? Bye. <laughs> Check it out. Fruit. No thanks. These are our only rows. We don't want to get them all sticky. See? It's the answer to your riddle. But it's just a fruit. Oh. Hit inside. Oh my God. It's so simple. Why didn't we get that? Oh man, that's been bugging us all day. But what does it have to do Stream. with the pyramid? Huh? Oh, nothing. It's just Don't something spoil our this for me. Dorn told us this morning. <laughs> she thinks she's so smart. Uh, I can't wait to rub this Stream. thing in her face. I can't so, play this on stream if you're gonna spoil it now? for me. Oh yeah, yeah. Whatever. Knock yourself out. I'm going in. Okay. <sighs> Guess this is where they buried their old god. It's that same religious symbol, but this one is recessed, like a socket. Okay. Such strange shapes in here. I guess this is where they buried their old god. I wonder what that symbol means. There's that symbol again. Okay. I 
I'm going in. Okay. I guess... Is there anything... Um... Okay. It's no. all out of holy tear gas. I bet I can make a million off of this idea. Hey, taking a break, Clarence? Sup, maidens? Hey, can I have some of that perfume? <laughs> That's not perfume. That's a... Don't you guys ever wonder if there's another way? Bye, Thong to save the town, I mean. Have a good evening. Um, this is how it's always been done. Yeah, they figured out how to do it a long time ago, so we wouldn't have to think about it. Use the sniff sniff and the gas collector? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> See you maidens later. Oh. Ciao! I can't fill the holy tear gas dispenser with that. Come on, Clarence, we're running out of time. I can't fill the holy tear gas dispenser with that. Okay, a little to the left. Marshal Dune? Mm hmm? Are you saying I smell bad? No, heavens no, child. You smell like birthday cake and fluffy clouds. With a hint of fresh pine. But that's just not the sort of aroma that hooks the big fish. Talk to your grandmother. I'm sure she has a fragrance recipe she'll share with you. Those shell maidens won't share their monster bait with me. Please, that's terrible. I know. They won't give me a single drop. No, oh, I, I mean see how it's it terrible is. What a tattletale you are. No perfume will cover up poor sportsmanship, young lady. How about now? Is the construction coming along better? Ah, the sand is falling apart, and so am I. Right, though? I think he had a scrim. I'm actually, I'm gonna tweet him really quick. Sorry, hang on. Talk about the bucket hat. Hey, about your bucket hat. What? What about it? It looks great on you. Very fancy. What? Fancy? But I'm a man of the people. I'm never going to win this election if I come off as haughty and elite. Here, take this away from me. Really? That's Thank what it you, took child. to get a bucket? You're firing my stylist tomorrow. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These maidens aren't going to serve up themselves. <sighs> okay, so I take it that I need to go and as fill much the as I would like some chum. I don't think it's smart to carry it around in an open container with those gulls around. Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I just hope my baking town is still standing. No, no, 
Looking at this chum trough makes me really happy I grew up in a baking town instead of a fishing town. I know. I know. I'm a murderer. Go. Come to me, old chum. I mean, when is this not going to come in handy? Bikes. Ugh, gross, Drusilla. Don't you think I can smell that? Okay, this time it really wasn't me. Hey, maybe this perfume is what's attracting them. I'll get rid of it. Great ow! Great idea! What about me? Ow! I hate <sighs> naturally! She has to save whom she can't. Ow! I'll tell Mom Chopra about you, Drusilla. Um, those are cloud shoes. Okay, so now I have the perfume. Oh man, <coughs> the things monsters go for these days. Okay, I think I have to go deal with Curtis now. I have a bucket for some reason. Oh wait, maybe... Oh, and now you're decorating me like a Christmas tree? Is there no end to the humiliation? I've got a ladder in my pocket. Bet that will make you barf for sure. Is it from Meriloft? They only use naturally fallen branches collected by their birds. See? It's possible to live in harmony with nature, you barbarian. Dang. Okay, I have to make it throw up somehow. Have to make it barf. Something would... Oh, would the perfume make it barf? Does the tree smell? Hey, want some perfume? To what? Mask the smell of death that fills these woods? There's no hiding your sins, human. Okay, no, that didn't work. Hi. Hey, Bella. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. Okay, he needs wood. Catch you later. Oh. Curtis. It's space. Ugh, oh, click on the nose of the Why do I suck at this game? You guys are just gonna have to hold my, my hand through the whole thing. I tried to give... Oh, give Curtis the ladder. Oh my god. Hey, can you make me something out of the wood in this ladder? Mm, no. They use these hollow twigs up in Meriloft for lightness. Totally uncarvable. But I like how it's not talking. Oh, okay. Not crazy. I'm not crazy. Thank God. Click on the nose of the tree. Okay, so I have the bucket back. 
Use perfume on Maggie's bucket. Tucker is already in a dispenser. Nope. We're good. Okay, so I did all that. I'm I'm just getting yelled at. Sure. You guys need a bucket? Nah, we just go in our costumes. Because when are we ever going to wear them again? Oh my lord. Drusilla, quiet. We have an image to maintain. It's gross. Sniff, sniff. Wait, oh, hey, what are you guys saying? Hey, wanna smell this? That's not a real nose, you know. It's just a branch. Oh! I'm gonna wait right here. I'm gonna wait for you guys to just... Just absorb that particular bit of information. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for you guys to figure out that... That didn't work. Oh! <laughs> no, I feel smart. Why haven't I tried the birds? What are you talking about? Sniff, sniff on the on the birds. Better not waste my beast hooker on that. These seagulls seem to really like. Oh, the there shots. was a well. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, nope. That's not what I wanted. Nope. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that, because it's not really tear gas. Oh, yeah, no, that tear thing got chucked out. She just tossed it. Cause she took get salt water. Salt water equals baldness. Jevin, I need you to use like words, like real words. So that doesn't work, actually. I have a bucket. I have a ladder. Oh, I tried that. Oh, now I smell good and talk to Hat Man. Marshall Dune? Mm -hmm. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Child, at this point, we may not even have a Maiden's Feast. <laughs> not that you have the right scent for it anyway. I already smelled it. I already did. I Wait, hang on, are my subtitles on? Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. Oh, God, These I'm maybe hitting the wrong button. Okay. Don't make me come up there. Oh man. <coughs> the things monsters go for these days. Marshal Dune? Mm hmm. I need to enter the Maiden's Feast. Oh my, oh my. Now that is how you attract a monster. Okay, Bikes you is right. You are in, my girl. My compliments to your grandmother. 
truly monstrous. Now, if there only was going to be a Maiden's Feast. Okay, so now I'm in the Maiden's Feast. Better let you get back to the feast. Yes, yes. These Maidens aren't going to serve I can talk to them now that I'm actually in the Maiden's Feast. Maiden's, yeah. After you took that feast took her away, they eventually left us alone. Thank you so much, non-maiden. Hey, maidens. Hey, maidens. I'm going to kill Mog Chathra. Ha! Not half as hard as I'm gonna kill it. I'm already killing it in this outfit. Just standing here. See you, maidens, later. Ciao! Huh. Okay, well, now I'm in the Maiden's Feast. Waiting for bikes. Yes, I am now signed up to be a sacrifice. I feel like there's something... It's that same religious symbol, but this one is recessed, like a socket. Put the bucket on the sand castle after the other bucket tips. No, no, not like that. What are you talking about? The bucket. For the tide. I see no bucket. Oh, wood! Look! Right there! Oh, driftwood. So smooth. Oh. Now I'm gonna go get my stool, and then I'm gonna make the guy throw up. Jesus. I did it. Hi. Hey, Bella. Okay, make me a stool. I'd love to. If only I had some wood. I need to... <sighs> Catch you later. It's uh, empty. Nope, that one. Check it out. Non-talking wood. Oh, and it's so smooth. Oh, Will Wheaton. Oh, man. I feel a stool coming on. Oh, what? Lord. I'm gonna... Oh, um... Whew. That's a relief. Tell me about it. I feel ten times better. Thanks for helping me get that out of my system. I want you to have it. Really? Thanks. No problem. I like to spread my samples around. Okay, all right, I think I kind of have a plan. Okay, so bucket hanging, yes, hanging. Stool. Sorry to do this to you, but... Oh my god, is that mutilated tree flesh? You see, what Curtis does is he peels off the outer layer of the wood <laughs> to get to the tender stuff inside. <laughs> then he dips the whole thing in an acid bath <laughs> before he begins the deep carving. <laughs> Oh, sorry, did that upset you? You monster! Alright. I have a stool. And a bucket full of... gross. Were you talking about this bucket, Anster? We have one like that back home. We're making upside down cakes. Oh, 
You know, that Curtis looks like such a slacker. They sure can bust out a solid stool. 